Hello students, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2003 exam. It's for two marks. Now, even though I am solving it with the questions of digital, but still we require some basic knowledge from the subject theory of computation. Okay, so if you haven't studied TOC yet, I'll recommend you skip this question, study the subject TOC and then come back to this video. Okay, anyways, let me read the statement. A one input two output synchronous sequential circuit behaves as follows. Let zk, nk denote the number of zeros and number of ones respectively in initial k bits of the input. That is zk plus nk will be equal to k. The circuit outputs 0, 0 until one of the following conditions hold. Condition number one is zk minus nk is equal to 2. In this case, the output at kth and all subsequent clock ticks is 1, 0. Similarly, the next condition is nk minus zk is equal to 2. In this case, the output at kth and all subsequent clock ticks is 0, 1. What is the minimum number of states required in the state transition graph of the above circuit? Okay, so what they mean is that when the difference between number of zeros and number of ones in initial k bits of the input is zero. That means number of zeros is equal to number of ones. The output must be zero, zero. If this difference is one, still the output must be zero, zero. But once the difference becomes two, that means number of zeros are two more than number of ones. We'll keep on printing one zero for every bit of input. Okay. Similarly, if this difference is negative, that means number of ones increase. This value becomes negative and is negative one. We want the output to be zero, zero only. But once this difference becomes minus two, we'll keep on printing zero, one for each and every bit of the input, okay? Now these conditions, they are a bit ambiguous. According to me, the question is not very well framed because to infer these points from these statements, you need to make an assumption. You need to assume that initially when the difference is zero, Initially, when difference is zero, the conditions hold. You need to assume that both of these conditions are true on initial condition. See, what will happen initially? Initially, we haven't seen any bit of the input. Suppose this is zero, one, something. Input has some string, but we haven't seen any bit yet. That means the difference in zeros and ones is zero because number of zeros encountered till now is zero. Number of ones encountered till now is zero. Okay. So zk minus nk in this case is zero. You assume that currently both the conditions hold. Now they are saying the circuit outputs zero, zero until one of the conditions hold. So at this point, you will output zero, zero this I have written it here okay and use of this until implies that from the difference is equal to zero initially difference will be zero from this point until you reach difference is equal to two or minus two you are going to print zero zero only okay so this word until implies these things okay until means beginning from initial condition we need to go till difference is equal to positive 2 or negative 2. Okay, I'm talking about zk minus nk. It's nk minus zk, that means here they haven't written a negative sign. I hope you're getting those points. Anyways, there's one more problem in the question. What about the difference is equal to 2? See, suppose now we have seen 0, 1, 0, 0. Here the difference is 2, 3 zeros minus 1, 1. So it is 2. What should be the output now? The circuit outputs 0, 0 until one of the conditions hold. So zk minus nk is equal to 2. zk minus nk is equal to 2. This condition holds. So circuit must output 0, 0. Okay. So output must be 0, 0. But they are saying in this case output at kth and all subsequent clock ticks is 1, 0. Now, at a place, at one place they are saying it must be 0, 0. At one other place they are saying it must be 1, 0. So what should be the output? That's a little ambiguity in this question. Okay. So actually they mean to say this. Now 
द क्वेश्चन कुड हैव बीन फ्रेम्ड इन अ बेटर वे इफ इफ द यूज लेस देन हेयर ओके सी इफ द सिंपली मैंशन लेस देन साइन इट कुड हैव बीन ईजी फॉर अस to understand that when the difference is one this condition will be true see say at any given time the difference is one z k minus n k is one they are saying until one of these conditions hold so z k minus n k is equal to 2 it's difficult to interpret that this condition holds when the difference is one because at this place they are saying difference is equal to 2 but the difference is actually one only way to may, uh, interpret as using this word until okay until means starting from initial difference until difference becomes two also if we use a less than sign here this con confusion about what about when difference is equal to two that would be solved so let me write those conditions then uh, and i'll just speed the video okay had they mentioned these conditions the question would have been a little bit easier okay easy to understand see if the value is 0 or 1 okay less than 2 means 2 is not accepted if the value is 0 or 1 output must be 0 0 0 or 1 output must be 0 0 similarly if the value is minus 1 or 0 still the output must be 0 0 that is what i have written there If the value is less than or equal to two, it must be zero one. Similarly, it must be zero one according to second condition. Okay. Similarly, you can just see this condition. Okay. Now let us solve this question. For drawing the finite automata or state diagram for such a scenario, we will require five states. So your answer is five. How do I know there will be five states? because the output is only dependent on the current difference between zeros and ones okay and only these values are possible according to question so five possible differences means five possible states we need five states to just get to know what will be the current difference one state will represent difference is equal to zero second state will represent difference is equal to one then third fourth and fifth that means five states would be enough okay let me just now draw the finite automata and i'll again speed up the video so you can see i've drawn a mure machine for this scenario how is this machine a mure machine whenever you are on this state the output will always be 0 0 if you are on this state output all output will again be 0 0 on this state it will be 1 0 and so on you can see one output is linked to one state so output is dependent on the current state that means it's a mure machine now let us try to understand this if initially initially we haven't seen any bit of the input okay at that point difference is 0 0 so we will print 0 0 now suppose the first bit is let me write some input first bit is 0 we have seen a 0 difference becomes 1 that's the reason i have named this state is equal to 1 by difference i mean zk minus nk okay so always take number of zeros minus number of ones this difference becomes 1 and again we will print 0 0 now next bit is 1 okay we have seen this 0 next bit is 1 so from here you will come back to the initial state only upon seeing a 1 and again 0 0 will be printed okay so this one is done next bit is again 0 you will go here print 0 0 next bit is again 1 you will come back here and print 00 okay. okay so two more zero zeros now let us say if next bit is 1 from this state you will go to this state and the difference is minus 1 again you will print 00 let's assume the next bit is 
वन नाउ ऑल्सो ओके सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल रीच टू माइनस टू सी द डिफरेंस हेयर विल बी माइनस टू नंबर ऑफ जीरो नंबर ऑफ वन इज फोर टू माइनस फोर इज माइनस टू दैट्स द रीजन आई नेम्ड द स्टेट माइनस टू हेयर यू आर गोइंग टू प्रिंट जीरो वन नो इर रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट द इनपुट इज वी डोंट इवन नीड टू सी वॉट द इनपुट इज whether it whether it's zero whether it's one we'll just keep on printing zero one for each and every bit of the input students generally get this doubt that if we see two zeros here the difference will now be zero and we should print zero zero no according to question in this case the output at kth at kth that means when the difference becomes two or minus two and all subsequent clock ticks is 10 and all the subsequent clock ticks that means once the difference exceeds 2 or becomes 2 we will not consider the input bit bit simply at all the subsequent clock ticks the difference is going to be 10 only okay so we will remain at this state only see we have considered the input till here for this 0 0 this transition will sorry for this single 0 this transition will be taken and 0 1 will be printed okay similarly for this one also 0 1 will be printed whatever is the input 0 or 1 we'll just keep on printing this only now can we construct a finite automata such that whenever the difference is 0 we come back to this state that means once you reach here can you ever come back to this state no such a finite automata is not possible because see the input is till here the number of zeros is equal to number of ones now here there are two zeros sorry two ones you are saying if we see two more zeros can we reach here i am saying no because these are only two ones you can say we'll have two forward transitions and two backward transitions to reach back but what if there are 1000 ones and followed by 1000 zeros okay 1000 ones then you have 1000 zeros for this you need to remember how many ones we have encountered till now that means this self loop won't work you need to have 1000 different states you'll move 1000 steps ahead and you have to come back 1000 steps okay that means such a finite automata is not possible that is the reason we are counting differences and once this difference is 2 we stop counting okay so this is the answer the answer is five states okay they were asking about states we don't actually need to draw the diagram you can guess the states from here only okay